Now let's check in with Elizabeth Alvarez who has all those news headlines that we need to hear about this morning. Hi Elizabeth. Hi ladies. Good morning to you. Good morning to you at home. Yes, let's talk about what is making headlines right here in New Mexico. Could wild horses in the state end up at the state's new horse slaughterhouse? That is what some people fear once Valley Meats gets the final OK to open its doors. You see dozens of wild horses right now roam the village of Placitas. People there say they've been spending a lot more time in the village because of the drought looking for food and water. And now they're worried that the horses could be at risk because they're worth a couple of hundred bucks at auction. They talk so much about about taking them away and, and having them put in a slaughterhouse, which I mean we are just totally against. Valley Meat passed its USDA inspection in April. It is now waiting on a permit to start slaughtering horses. If you or someone you know got taken advantage of the man police call El Dentista, the state health department wants to help you. It is offering free testing and counseling to people who went to Eliver Kessler for dental work. You see, police say he ran an illegal mobile dentist office in his car using filthy tools and drugs. To get help, all you have to do is go to the Santa Fe Public Health Office. You do not need an appointment. Well, get those resumes ready because the city of Albuquerque is getting ready to hire even more people. You see, city councilors approved the budget for the next fiscal year last night. They set aside money to hire an extra 40 people. They will work everywhere from City Hall to the biopark and animal shelters and much more. These jobs haven't been posted just yet, but as soon as Mayor R.J. Berry signs the budget, he says he'll post them. The city is also in the process of hiring another 120, and some of those jobs are posted right now. To go see a list of those, head to our website, krqe.com, and just click on KRQE links. The city says all it can do right now is ask politely when it comes to fixing one of the worst bus stops in the metro area. The bus stop on bridge just west of river is simply a mess. There is scattered rubble from a neighboring apartment complex and a pipe sticking out over the sidewalk. There's also a small drop off with a pile of rubble at the bottom. One nearby resident tells News 13 that she has been complaining about this for weeks. ABQ Ride spokesperson Rick DeRea says because the mess is actually on private property in the county and not the city, all the city can do is just ask for help. We do plan to reach out to the owner, whoever the owner is, to see if we can't uh, tidy that up. Now, News 13 did try to get in touch with the people who own the apartment complex, but so far, they've not been successful. And that wraps it up for your local morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt, Kristen, and myself every weekday morning on KRQE News 13, beginning at 4.30 a.m. All right, ladies, going to send it back to you. Thanks, Elizabeth. You Have bet. a wonderful Thank Tuesday. You.